lovelies and welcome back to season 2 of Vampire Bloodlines in The Sims 3. For those of you who don't know me, I am Simsfell and I do fantasy and let's plays on YouTube. If you have no clue what's going on over here, what this series is all about, but you think it looks interesting, then I recommend going back to season 1 and checking that out. I have the rules there and I also have all the adventures of the cool sims we are going to meet in this series. And um, I will have the links down in the description below, so if you would like, please check that out. I assure you, it will be lots and lots of fun. Anyways, for those of you who do know what's going on, welcome, welcome back. So, we are in the town of Bridgeport, of course, continuing the adventures of our three royal covens and their lineages in this bustling modern town. We are continuing the adventures over here. I'm not going to move towns or anything because, again, we are very ingrained with life in Bridgeport and how it's been changing and slowly being taken like taken over by the three royal covens. Now in the previous, just before we jump into the actual families and stuff, in the previous season I did say that at the end of every season, or just before we start a new season, I would go through all the families in town and I would basically clear out half of the families. Just so we can make space for the current sims to actually grow their own families and continue their lineages to encourage that behavior, but also so that everyone can grow up and move out and move into new houses and all those kind of things. If we overpopulate, it's not going to be very fun, we're not going to be able to see all those things happening in town. So I've gone ahead and counted up the families. We had, I think, oh geez, I think we had 40, yeah, 43 families and I cleared out 22 families. So the current families we have right now, they're about 21. As people have more children and more children, that will increase of course, but let me go ahead and quickly let you guys know which families I have kept around. So obviously the three royal families, the Nikolais, Shades and Lances, they have been kept. I've also kept three branches of the Striker family, um, and the Strikers are actually related to Shade through his wife, and two branches of the Hemlock family. We have the Storm family on Edgewood Road, Page family on Silver Screen Drive, um, the Atkins on Hamming Pier Road, the Lakos on Bayshaw Highway, uh, the Cook family on Slimway Avenue. Um, let's see, the Littler family on Canal Avenue, Schlick family on Windsor Drive, the Bling family on Edgewood Road, and let's see, we had a few more. We have the Crew family on Edgewood Road as well, the Bejew family on Embercadero Drive, the Clavia family on Embercadero Drive, the Eddy family on 4th Avenue, and the Wild family on Landgrab Loop. So those are the 21 families that I've decided to go ahead and keep. I'll quickly jump through the houses that we have populated and I'll show you guys. So let's see. And if you guys have any familiar sims that you know, uh, that's just to help everyone out. So we've got the blings over here as I've said, the hemlocks, the um, storm striker, crew. And what I ended up doing um, and how I prioritized the 21 families is that I kind of did a sweep of the town. Basically all the families, except for the royals basically, who had toddlers and babies, I kept them and then after I had made sure that they were um, in the 21, then I moved on to families who, actually no, that's wrong. I kept the royal families and then the ones that were related to us by marriage and we had like a good relationship with ones that I knew of. Some of the spouses of our royalty, they don't have huge families or they don't have families I know of. so. I didn't worry too much about that, but the families that we had a close association with in the previous season, I kept them. And then after that, all the families that we know of, for example, the Pages, we like the Page family, we don't play with them or anything, and I don't think they have a close acquaintance with our family, but they are uh, Sims or descendants of Sims who I played in a different Sims 3 series, so we kind of know the name. So I kept them around after that. I went through with the spaces we had and prioritized uh, the NPC families that had babies and toddlers. And once all the spaces filled out with that, I went ahead and just pretty much put down any family, just randomized it. So I did that until we filled 21 spots. And that's what we have to work with. So over here we've got the Bajou family. We have Atkins, Clavia. We have the Wild family. Um, Paige, Eddie, as you can see, 
And so this is really good because look at that, it's opened up so many spots for real estate which everyone can now get married, move out into, have children, all those cool things. We've got the Lakos here, the Nikolais, oh Nikolais, they're one of the royal families that we have. Um, strikers, we have the Hemlocks, um, Lance, this is another royal family that we have. Um, the Cooks, the Littlers, and let's see, we have a few families I think this way. We have two families this way. So we had the Schlicks and the Strikers. So there we go, I think that's all we had. Yep, there we go. So I'm quite excited to actually jump in and see what we get up to. When we left off in the previous season, I think we were playing with the shades. I'm going to continue with the shades because we're halfway through the week. Again, if you are not sure how this works in terms of the week system or you've forgotten the rotation which we play, we don't go through every family in town. We actually rotate between the three royal families we've got going on. The Nikolais, the Shade, and the Lances. And what we do is we normally spend a whole week with each family, roughly a week. And so when we left off in the previous season, I was halfway through the week. Um, of the Shade family. So I'm going to continue with that and once that's done we're going to move on to the Lances and then after a week there we're going to move on to the Nikolais. So that's how we are playing and how things are going. Um, but okay, let us see, shall we? And if you're wondering also how the seasons work, I have, for this series at least, 50 episodes per season regardless of who the leader is. Leadership changes when all the heirs, so only the males, all the heirs of the royal families are young adults. Once that happens, then we'll have a, a gathering of sorts somewhere where the next leader is chosen. But until that point, this is how we're going to work. And currently, we are under the leadership of Vlad Nikolai. Who is the member of the Nikolai family? Where is he at? Vlad, where'd you go? Vlad, Vlad, where'd you go? Oh my goodness, Vlad. Where did Vlad go? Vlad? Vlad? Vlad, my boy. Vlad. Oh jeez, where did I lose him? Vlad? There we go. Jeez. So Nikolai, over here, he's on the thumbnail. He is on the thumbnail because he's the leader of the royal families. So we do have three royal families and they each have their own heads, but the leader of the entire like vampire coven system, basically vampire royalty as a whole, the king. We could say the king. Um, he's the leader of the royal families, but each of the males that we have, for example, Garrett Shade over here, and then we've got Duncan Lance with the Lances, they're the leaders of their own families, specific families. But Vlad Nikolai is actually the leader of all the royal families put together. It's kind of like a king. So I'm sorry if that's confusing. If you want me to clarify, then I will be happy to do so. Also, I apologize for taking so long with the introduction of this episode, but that tends to happen every time you start something new, so I don't think you guys mind too much. Anyways, all the explanations done and aside, let's jump back in. I'm very excited, and I think you guys are as well. So, uh, we can continue. I haven't changed anything. I saved before we started the game. But okay, look, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, eight weeks and four days I've been playing this for. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's quickly get reacquainted with all our sims. So, the lead of the Shade family is... Let's see, and we probably will have lost all the whims we had because I had to jump around a little bit when I was um, going through and editing a few stuff. But this is Garrett Shade, the leader of the Shade branch of the royal family. Look at him. Also, none of the royal families are related. They may intermarry in the future with their children, but they aren't related from the get-go. So we have Garrett Shade over here. He is married to Erica Shade, who is where we get the striker branch of the family from. So if we go to the family tree, super quick, uh, her daughter, oh yeah, she's had other children, not her sister. So she has a daughter, Jessica Stryker, and her daughter actually married someone who is a human, so I don't want to say that is older than everyone else because these are vampires, they're probably older than all the humans. Um, and she managed to have three children, all of them are boys who have really odd hairstyles, except for Archie. So she's got Dirk, Archie, and Kenton Stryker, so I've managed to keep all of them in. Also, some of the families we have, like the Hemlocks, I think, actually have some history with um, some of our royal families, so it's going to be interesting to see how all that plays out. But a whole bunch of them will, be, will have um, gone away. And I have deleted the families in-game, like I go through each season and delete half of the families. 
but I will say that they've moved to a different town for the purpose of story. Okay, so we have that, and then of course, after she got married to Garrett, she had three children. So her oldest son is Gavin Shade, um, and then she had a daughter, Brandy Shade, and the newest child is Eldwin Shade. So there we go. Gavin is the heir of this side of the family. And interestingly enough, um, his father has three star celebrity level, um, and Gavin has two stars. Which is crazy. He's just a child, but I guess he's a famous child. Makes sense. If you the if you are the heir of a royal family, I can see why you would be popular. But we have Gavin down here. Oh geez, he's at school. Okay. He's currently going home. Good boy. Okay. Well he's going home. This is Gavin over here. Then we have little Brandy, who is actually aging up in two days. There we go, Brandy. She's sleeping. And Gavin's playing with the baby. Is something stinking? I think so. Anyways, so, as you can see, they live in an apartment. It's flippin' tiny. They have three children, not enough space to keep everyone in here. So we are going to have to move at some point. Uh, we are going to have to move. We don't have enough money to move yet, but we are going to have to. Especially because Gavin is sleeping on the couch. But I think what we said was even if we take time moving, what we might do is... Actually, I'm pretty sure we sent Gavin. He's supposed to be going to the Lefromage Art School, if I'm not wrong, because Garrett wanted to send him. He's going to work, though. I do actually think that Gavin is going off to art school, if I'm not wrong. I just don't know when he's going off to art school, but I'm fairly sure that he is. Huh, we're going to have to see how that develops. I'm not entirely sure when he's supposed to be leaving, but I'm fairly sure he's supposed to be going to art school. Um, he's skipping school right now. Oh, geez, child, go to school. What are you doing? Um, go to school. Yeah, he's not doing too well. I'm going to get Erica to actually get up. Um, oh, she's not feeling too well. Hmm. I don't want to spend too much money around here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. She's just going to have to look after the children. We're going to have to see what happens with Gavin because I was fairly sure that he was supposed to be shipped off to art school. And I think that was part of us saying that we might... Um, I don't know. I might not have gone ahead and even done that. I don't even remember what I did in the previous episode. Oh, look. Jessica just um, got promoted. Fun. Seriously, though, I don't remember what I did in the previous episode. Okay, Erica, can you get up and look after your child? Your children uh, are feeling cranky. Your baby needs the diaper changed, and Brandy is hungry. You need to give her a, a, a bottle on the floor. Jeez, children are difficult to take care of. But I'm fairly sure, let's see, Eldwin, he's got three days to age up, but both Brandy and Gavin are aging up in two days. They're going to age up on Friday, I'm pretty sure. And if that is the case, then I can see why I would have not sent him off to uh, Lefromage Art School. Because if that was the case, then um, that would kind of be pointless. Like, just have him away for two days and have him back. But I think what I was hoping for, if I indeed did send him, was maybe these two days, the sleeping arrangements could be fixed a little bit. I don't know. I do remember in the previous episode, some of you lovelies were also saying maybe it should be like um, a thing of the Shade family um, where all the heirs, in order to become eligible to become heirs, they have to go to Lefremage Art School and I thought that was a cool idea. It's like something that's passed on. So I can see that happening. Um, but we might send Gavin to Lefremage as a teen if we aren't going to send him now. Uh, I, can, I can see that being a thing actually. I mean, the other children don't have to, but the heirs of the Shade family might, that might be a thing that they actually have to go through. Okay, Gavin, you are feeling terrible. He is so tired. I'm so sorry, Gavin, you're so tired. But you're going to have to just bear with it, boy. He's going to have to bear with it. Oh, goodness gracious. Brandy, I'm sure you can just play and look after yourself. Erica, Erica, Erica. Okay, let's see what you want to do. She wants to send a text to Lil Bling, learn the piano skill, enroll in university. No, nope, honey, mm -mm, that ain't happening. You want to snuggle Eldwin, though, and acquire vampiric sunscreen. Hmm. Or socialize with the supernatural. I'm pretty sure all her children are vampires. 
We do have a hybrid mod going on, but none of the offspring that we've had in any of the other families that can have hybrids have aged up enough for us to actually hybridize them. So I'm waiting for them to turn into children or possibly teens and see when we can do the hybridization. Um, I haven't received any comments that let me know like when that can happen, but I've tried as a baby, I've tried as a toddler, and I think as a child, hasn't worked yet. I can't with Gavin. Actually, I haven't tried as a child. Mm. Things are tough. Things are tough. It's okay. We do have a mermaid vampire hybrid with uh, one of our niche, uh, nichelings, what am I saying? One of our sims, and let's actually fill the bowl. Yeah, we do have a mermaid vampire hybrid with the Nikolais, and we have a vampire witch hybrid with the Lances, so that's actually quite exciting. Okay. Also, I do think one of you lovelies were suggesting that we should take hmm, a Jeremiah's cat and breed him with one of the other kittens from, I think, Maggie. I think Maggie, who belongs to Lance, um, their cat Maggie had some kittens. And I think you guys were saying we should breed the kittens to Jeremiah because Honey is already an elder, unfortunately. Elders can't have kittens, but male elders can definitely get, like, they're still fertile. Um, as long as we mate them with a younger female, then that should work out. So we might just do something like that. We'll have to see. But look at her. She's so cute. I missed her so much. I missed you so much. I, I want to zoom in, but I really can't because it's just going to look at... Oh, well, I guess I can. Oh, look at that. She's so cute. I know Gavin's here. He's saying hello to his little little baby brother. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. What a great family. What a great family. Also, your TV's broken. What's this? Meow. Oh. Okay, he's back from home. He's asking his mother for a bedtime story. Oh. He is very tired. So, I guess, Erica, put the baby down. Where, where the hell is the toddler? Toddler? Where did Brandy go? Oh, Brandy's right here. Brandy? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Brandy's in the toy box. I was like, where's Brandy? Okay, I was freaking out a little bit. I mean, you kind of have to when you live in an apartment, but it's fine. Gavin, you can, yeah, ask for a bedtime story, go up to bed. I'm going to be so upset leaving this nursery behind in this apartment. Like, I put so much effort in decorating it. Uh, but I'm going to have to leave it behind so they can have a more spacious life. It's just the way things are, guys. It's just the way things are. Okay, you're going to give your child a bedtime story? I'm sure he can use the bed since you're not using the bed. Oh, he really wants a bedtime story. Oh, he could just go by himself and sleep, but I think he really wants a bedtime story. I'm sorry, child. I feel so bad. Um, yeah, why not? New tips are coming in over the wire. There simply aren't enough stuff to investigate right and edit each one. Your co-workers would absolutely love if you stayed late to help them finish the deadline. Why not? That is going to help with his promotion, I think. Not too sure. Um, if it does, that is great because it means more moolah for us. And uh, more moolah is great because that's actually going to help us to um, move out of this place a lot faster. And hopefully get a better place. And now that actually a lot of um, spaces have cleared up, it's actually prime time for us to get moving. And I probably should get moving before the week is over so that <laughs> we actually have more room before everyone else over town starts taking over all of the empty real estate. We probably should get this underway. Oh, look at that. What a nice family. They're so nice. I can't wait to see how Gavin and the rest look when they age up. I'm really excited to see how they look, what kind of vampires they become. I think Gavin was one of the first heirs that we have, which is also why I'm super excited about him. Ah, <sighs> okay. But he caused issues when he was born, guys. He caused some weird glitches when he was born. Luckily, none of his siblings are doing that, so I'm grateful. Um, they know the Nikolais. Yeah, they know the Nikolais, which is great. I don't think they know the Lances too much. The royal families aren't entirely that close. At all, actually. They are aware of each other, but they're not close. Which I'm hoping to change in the future, slowly but surely. 
Okay, Gavin. Gavin, don't you want to sleep? Okay, Gavin's not sleeping. Can he not just sleep? Well, just go sleep. Child, go and sleep in your parents' bedroom. I don't know what's going on. He just can't sleep. I think he was having this issue last time, but I, I swear I fixed it. I don't know who was having it. Someone was having a sleeping issue last time, and I fixed it. Like, I'm pretty sure I placed a new bed in and everything. Go on, go to sleep. Or maybe they're having the issue where they slept for a couple of hours and they kept waking up. Hmm. Could be the babies that are screaming, you know? I don't know. Okay, well, he's finally sleeping, so that's good. Could also be the fact that his mother is playing music really loudly. Jeez. Okay, and she also wants to take a class in the piano school. You know what? I can do that when your husband returns, not before then. Um, I can work on that for sure. Hygiene, okay, you need to change your baby's diaper. Um, change dirty diaper. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It is tough. It is tough. Does she work? She does work, but she has a day off, and it is really tough when they have to look after the children, especially when you have this much, uh, and there's no help, there's no maid, there's no butlers or anything. And actually, in The Sims 3, do the butlers help with the children? I... I'm not entirely sure. No, we don't want to work out for hours. We could, but I don't know if I'm bothered to. I'll pop it in, um, because why not? But I don't know if I'm bothered to, in all honesty. I don't know if I am. Okay, the child, you can plop down on the ground now. <laughs> ah. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. I know not much happened in this episode, but again, it was an introductory episode to season two. Um, and I hope you all had fun and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.